East Africa is going to shift from road cargo to rail cargo. Why? Because it is cheaper. It is cheaper. It will also save the roads. Because the other day, where a few days, a few years ago, we were in Kisumu celebrating 100 years of the railway. That railway has never been repaired seriously since, since 100 years ago. But how many times have we reconstructed the roads in Kenya and in Uganda? So many times we reconstruct their, their damage. So, definite, so what, what should be clear is that road cargo transport is the wrong method of transport. We are now going to shift. Unfortunately, uh, the East, Afri East African partners are now agreed that we shift from road to rail and even water. Even water. This railway station remain the symbol of the war in northern Uganda. But today you have demolished it. So it's a clear demonstration that northern Uganda has from today on removed all symbols of the remaining things of war in this region. And we are very delighted about that. It is a great honor to be here, for me to be here today for the launch of two flagship projects of the Uganda-European Union Partnership the rehabilitation of the Tororo Gulu Railway and the construction of the Gulu Logistics Hubs. The projects of the construction of the logistic hub and the rehabilitation of Gulu Tororo Meter Gauge Railway Line are part of the government initiative to develop trade and transport sectors and boost Uganda's potential in the region as a regional distribution hub enshrined in our National Development Plan 3 and Vision 2040. Shall we rise up? This is the high time for us to benefit a lot out of our agricultural product. This project will go a long way in changing the face of the region and the country. Just about two weeks ago, we had a delegation from South Sudan that came. The Honorable Minister of State for Northern Uganda received them here. Business people, they came because they also want to strategically position themselves and benefit from this. So this is something that you have done to the region. It will completely change the face of northern Uganda and the country, and we sincerely thank you for that. This is one of the most strategic interventions government has come up with for northern Uganda. For a long time, we have had social action community action for people to be able to survive because they have come from the long history of wars and civil unrest. But this intervention is going to make us think better than what we have been doing. When the rehabilitation of this project is complete, we hope to raise freight volumes from the current about 25,000 to at least 120,000 tons per month. We also plan to extend the passenger service, which is in Kampala, to other areas, Port Bell and Bujuku. And uh, we also extend the one from Kampala Namambe up to Mukono.
the last one I remember in museum that is being prepared in Jinja as part of this project. So you're very welcome to tour us. Which was still using charcoal. It was a curry. Where do we trust? This is the water.